This is Namwala, whose name is derived from a stone, Mwala, underwater in Namwala River. Namwala is endowed with vast natural resources. The close proximity of the Kafiwe River makes the district unique. Most important of all, it is home to the largest cattle population in the country, also endowed with vast plains suitable for livestock production. This is Namwala district, located in the southern part of the country, about 179 kilometers northwest of the provincial capital, Choma. It lies on the southern bank of the Kafiwe River. Namwala is equally known for its rich cultural heritage of the Ila-speaking people, whose main source of livelihood is primarily pastoral farming. There is also a saying here that the wealth of a man is measured by the number of cattle one owns. The population of cattle in this district is said to be higher than the number of people with about 139 heads of cattle while 101 for humans. Over the years, these communities have reared cattle mainly for beef production, a practice that has not yielded much economic benefit to free them from the shackles of poverty. Despite the huge cattle population, most inhabitants remain economically vulnerable. This is due to the unfavorable marketing conditions for their livestock. Mala is an area in Namala district that boasts of huge number of cattle due to the abundant pasture for grazing in the Kafiwe flats. However, farmers here lament their challenges in getting the best out of their animals. We don't have the right market as yet now. We, we, uh, we sell our animals far from where we stay. It's expensive, you have to find the transport to take the line of rail, where maybe you can find the buyers. Then if the, the, the investors come and invest with the, amongst our midst, then the better. Where we take the animals, we don't sell our hides, we don't sell the hooves, we don't sell the rest of the uh, animal product. It's only meat. And then the, the buyer gains everything. No, we don't have a market. We don't have market for, for our animals. Yeah, we are spending a lot of money, like maybe dipping, dozing. Like, look, look how they are, they are looking. They are being fed here, so we don't have a good market. So we would like, as you, are, as you have come, maybe you, you, you assist us with, with maybe investors or people who would come here and give us maybe a good um, price for our animals. Government has, however, in the 7th National Development Plan, running from 2017 to 2021, spelled out some priority areas of economic development. The 7th National Development Plan for 2017 to 20, 2021, why it, is the, it has the theme which says accelerating development efforts towards Vision 2030, which 
wants everyone to be included on the, 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 the program, meaning that this development should go as far as the lower level where people should benefit. So I, I can urge, the, to, maybe we can invite the investors to come in our district and put up the animal processing industry, where I believe all our youths will be empowered if we, that thing is brought in our district. Livestock and fisheries development is one sector with huge potential to bring about economic fortunes to Namwala through value addition. We have the potential to venture into value addition. As you may be aware, uh, for Namwala, the cattle that we supply to the abattoirs we sell both the meat and the hides. The hides are gotten more like for free. What they buy is just the whole animal with its hide. So the potential is there. Looking at the statistics that we have, of course, it's possible we can have uh, industries that would venture into maybe meat processing as well as the tanneries to process the the heights. Uh, there is a massive potential in the district when it comes to aquaculture production. Uh, both on the river here, there is no cage, cage culture that has been uh, put up, which leaves uh, the area still vacant for, for exploiting in terms of fish farming production. Yeah, so there is need of uh, people venturing into aquaculture through cage farming. There is the entire district, uh, there is no uh, proper industry which has been developed under aquaculture. Namwala is not only rich in cattle, but also in load with forests whose exploitation through timber production that can spur economic development if only value addition becomes an area of focus. The hectare of our forests in Namwala is still vast. Still vast, we have 44,800 80 hectares of the said tree species, meaning they will sustain the industry for not less than a period of 10 years. You will have all your products made within that period and you satisfy your customers. As long as you come to Namala, we have the timber or the woody related products that can produce materials, that can produce goods, that one can sell for the next 10, 15 years to come. Energy development is another priority area with potential for investment owing to the high sunny intensity in the area. We can have a situation where if we have some investors who are serious, we can put up a thermal power plant. Thermal power plant. And we can have some gemstone mining, which can be done in Namala. So we really call for investors to come and exploit because once they have done the feasibility studies, they will know what is in Namala, but us as locals, we believe there's more than enough that has not been exploited. So in the end, we feel we are left behind, yet we don't, we don't just have people who have come forward to try and help us. Growth of the economy here would be incomplete without tourism and other supporting facilities. The local authority has devised new strategies to transform the district into a favorable investment destination. Namala is one rich area where we have tourism potentials. For example, they have a very rich cultural background. Traditionally, we have ceremonies like Shimunenga, 
which is held every October, where people showcase their wealthy, those who have, say, in the range of 14, 20 thousand animals, they will parade them, run around while people are watching. Then we have Shika Umpa. That is another, another ceremony that is celebrated in the similar manner. Of course, Shimunenga is done in Mala. Shika Umpa ceremony is done in Rambue with the, the, the Ila people. Then we have uh, Lubanga, Shavonga, Namara Wildlife, Kafue Floods. So all these, if we, we sat down to try and look at uh, the value that can be added, would we'll call on government to war investors into this direction because the road, the, the district is connected to the provincial headquarters, Choma, with a, a nice tarmac. So accessibility and mobility shouldn't be a problem. We are there to take our products everywhere else because it's just 169 kilometers from the provincial headquarters for Southern Province, which is Choma. Without doubt, Focusing on industrialization, value addition, and the marketing of value-added products remains key to achieving the much-needed development. It is therefore important that investment that seeks to exploit the natural resources here must prioritize value addition to catapult the district to greater heights of social economic development.